Um, good question. Oh, I'm not sure. I, we just come up short in. Uh, I thought they just, they just outclassed us. They, um, you know, they certainly brought a lot of pressure that we knew they would bring, and they, that's something they don't get respect for. They would certainly come at you and bring a bit of heat to the ball carrier and the outside guys. And you know, we weren't clean with our ball by hand or foot. And even though we were at them, they were able to. Uh, Sustain and handle our pressure, and uh, you know, really, they're really classy. We're there through stoppages, bring the ball out of our back, our, our forward line, um, their inside 50 stuff. They're really dominant, especially in the first quarter. So, I just thought just the class factor was a level above us. Um, so, we'll learn some great lessons out of a, a very, very good team. Um, you know, we didn't take our chances in the second quarter, we had shots on goals. Um, uh, in the third quarter, you know, it was toe to toe a little bit, and then they the floodgates opened up a little bit. In the last quarter, I thought the guys fought it out pretty well. In terms of those little steps you've taken in making progress, what does that result do? Was it show? Um, oh, it shows you the level you're going to have to get to, and where we aspire to get to. Um, you know, not that we're going to play exactly like Hawthorne do, and not many teams do because they're not capable of doing it. But um, you know, more they, how quickly they spread away from contests. Um, you know how, how much work they do for each other, especially inside, and, and just how clean they are. Um, so, you know, for our young midfield group, there'll be some great lessons and great footage to watch over the coming days. But we're going to learn from that quickly and then focus on uh, one more big effort before the break against the Bulldogs on Sunday. So, is it clear there's still a big gap? Oh, between, I think there's a gap between. Uh, where Hawthorne are. Yeah, look, I think Hawthorne are one of the top teams in the competition, so we want to get there quickly. Um, and, you know, I think we showed patches today, we were able to match it with them, but um, to be able to sustain not only the pressure, but to be able to sustain moving the ball, um, we weren't able to do that as well as Hawthorne are. You, you require, talk about class, you require that everybody contributes, everybody play well. Do you, you feel let down? No, not let down. No, not let down. Look, they've been enormous over the last month, the boys. Um, but the AFL game, it's a hard caper. You've got to get yourself up every week. And we were probably just off a little bit, I reckon. And uh, against a good team, um, that's going to cost you. So we've got to make sure we recover well and get ourselves up for another week. Um, um, but I, I thought their effort was pretty good. They were just off a little bit. Um, this, this is a collective, but you can name individuals, we certainly have, who just didn't even live up to their own standard. Feel there were a few that yeah, I th uh, not not let me down, not let the team down. I think they just got beaten by better players. Um, you know, through the midfield as a collective, we you know I thought Sewell and Mitchell were pretty good. Um, you know, I thought their half back has certainly created a lot of run out of those guys winning the ball. Um, their wingers were okay. I thought our backs held their own pretty well, uh, considering how much ball and a nice ball was coming in there. Um, and our forwards didn't take the opportunities when they had. And then the third quarter and the last quarter, they were starved of opportunities. I know this is Matthew Matthew. Is that an eye-opener for you guys about how much work you've got to do yourselves if you're going to make that sort of standard? Uh, I wouldn't call it an eye-opener. Um, we understand they're a very good side and uh, we're aspiring to, to get to their level pretty quickly. Um, and we learned a f good few lessons uh, tonight. Um, they're a good side and they've got some really good players. Did it, did it write anything that you think you found out about yourselves in the previous three weeks? Oh, it probably brings you back to earth a little bit. We've uh, been playing some pretty good footy over the last three weeks and um, it's a bit of a reality check to, to where we are and what we have to get to. Matty, do you think we'll find out a bit about the result of the group next week as much as you have after tonight? Oh, I'm pretty confident with their resolve and their resilience. You know, I think, as I said all year, they've been able to, to back up. Um, you know, we've really played one real poor quarter, as I said, against Richmond. We've probably had a, a instances and periods tonight where we weren't great. Um, so I'm sure they'll, they'll get themselves up. Um, you know, so they've got one more effort before the bye, and uh, you know, we were disappointed with tonight's game. Um, you know, we had a great turnout from our fans, 26, 27,000, so it was great to have another big crowd here, but um, you know, we travel away next week before we get to get back home after that. Um, so I'm sure they'll bounce back. We've just got to make sure we pick a team that's you know, fresh and physically capable of matching the Bulldogs. We play a real contested brand of footy. Man, how, much, how do you judge your first half of the season so far? Um, well, we, we've... Uh, We've improved. Um, we probably haven't quite hit the KPIs internally that we like. We're, we're just off them a little bit. Um, and that's just been not being able to tr maintain the rage, which I say a bit, um, just for long enough in the games against the real good quality opposition. Now, we've had a very, very tough draw and we played some fantastic teams who are in some good, really good form the, the first five weeks. Um, and we come up short a bit tonight. So uh, you know, I think we've improved, but we've certainly got some work to do and uh, and some work ahead of us to get up to that that next rung on the ladder where we think we can get to. Yeah. Oh, we're just off them. We're just off them. We've aimed them pretty high. Um, 
and uh, they're certainly significantly higher than what they were last year, but we're just off them a little bit. Um, and they, they give us the results of, you know, tonight was a the scoreboard wasn't great for us, but they, they just give us the results where we're just off. There's the two things you can judge Port Adelaide right at the moment. There's a low base from last year, so if you yeah. can improve from that, there's going to be something yeah. And then there's what you were saying is those KPIs that yeah. you're aiming for. So which is the more relevant one? Which one do you... Uh, the more relevant one will be by the end of the year. Um, how, how have we gone to those KPIs? You know, if you just want to look purely on last year, we've improved already. So um, we're not satisfied. We're not satisfied with that. Um, we want to keep working hard on our, on our stoppage stuff, our contested and uncontested, um, and just how we go about playing the whole game out. Um, and you know, the, the draw doesn't get any easier. Every week gets harder and harder. Um, it's a long season, so we've got a, one more week before we get ourselves up for another battle against the Bulldogs, and then we can have a rest and attack the second half of the. Year. No, I think if you look at the last quarter, we didn't play a spare. Um, we let our, our defenders defend one on one with uh, a lot of space and a lot of time around them, and I thought they did that very well. Um, we then had a, a few sore guys at the end, so we, you know, we, we manufactured a spare then. First quarter, we didn't start with the spare. Um, you know, we're going to try and win the game and get the ball inside 50 for us and try and kick a score. But when the scoreboard starts to dictate against you or statistics do, you've got to do something about it. And uh, you know, we did a few things during the game, but um, you know, they were still able to get through us. Um, yeah, we, we would have missed it a bit, I thought. Um, but saying that, it didn't go in there enough. So the forwards are definitely starved of opportunities either to hit the scoreboard or put some pressure on. Um, you know, I thought we just got more exposed, uh, spreading away from contest. I thought they were terrific at it, um, and we were just caught uh, a little bit leg-footed in that regard. Will you play next week? Um, yeah, I would have thought he'd certainly play this week, so uh, he'd be 50-50 at the moment. Um, obviously, we've got seven days till we play again, but um, yeah, he'd be a 50-50 chance at the moment, I would have thought. That game class you're talking about between all of the games, is the biggest difference? Um, I just think the execution of skills under pressure. Um, you know, we, we, we thought we'd brought pretty good pressure to them, but they, you know, I think their kicking efficiency was something 72, 73, 74 per cent. Um, and ours is just below the AFL average of what it's been this year. So we, we were bringing pressure to them, but they were just hitting some fantastic kicks and, and their handballs were pretty crisp too. So I, I just thought the way they moved the ball, and that was whether it was Gibson at full back or, or their small forwards up forward, they all did it pretty well. How do you draw a skill Oh, you just keep working at what you're doing. Um, you know, they've got some very classy, skilled players. We've also got some guys who have improved um, at Hawthorne. So uh, it's just a matter of working on it um, and dealing with when you're under pressure. This is how you got to execute your your skills by foot or hand. You're drawing level with the contested footy tonight. Do you think you can still go up another level yet? Oh yeah, it has to for us. Yeah, we, we we've got to be uh, you know beat our opposition at contested footy, and I think the Bulldogs are number one in the competition at it. Um, if not in the top two or three, so we've got a good challenge for that next week. But yeah, that's not just the be on end all of, of footy. Um, gives you a chance to hit the scoreboard and, and play well, but um, there's a lot of other things that got to go with that. If you just focus on that, um, you'll get your pants pulled down in other regards. And I think that's where Hawthorne are great. They've got a real good balance of, of that contested tackling stuff, which they probably don't get the credit for. And obviously on the outside, they're, they're, they're very good. Does that have some of that to do with getting the mix right in the centre square? Or is there um, yeah, look, we think we've got the mix right. Um, you know, that uh, you know, Sula Mitchell might get um, highlighted about their inability to get outside, but they certainly are able to do it still at a pretty high level. So uh, it's just the uh, the training of it and keep looking at how you can keep sustaining a higher level of it. And as I say, there'll be some great stuff for us to to uh, to learn from over the next couple of days, which you know doesn't sit well with us. But you've got to learn off the best teams, and we're to learn quickly and then get ready for the Bulldogs. Yeah, he showed a bit, he had 19 touches and went through the middle, um, found a bit of the ball, got a couple of clearances. So, yeah, it was, a, it was probably his best AFL game and, uh, you know, hopefully the start of him progressing with us. What sort of a role do you see him playing for you going forward? Uh, we see him as an inside midfielder, so um, you know, he'll, he'll play through there. But like all mids, they've got to go to different spots at times. But um, predominantly, we think he'll uh, he'll go through that area of the ground. Justin Westhoff put himself up there to say this was going to be um, oh, look, he, he didn't have a great first quarter. Um, I think he might have had one touch or something, and then uh, you know, I thought his second quarter was OK. He, he influenced around the ground for us. Um, and we, we tried him in different things, put him on the wing to, to help us free something else up. Third quarter, I think it was four to 15 inside 50, so no forward would have an opportunity there. And um, His last quarter was so-so, so it wasn't a great game by him, but 
Um, I don't think any of our forwards had great games and they were starved of opportunity. So I think it's more a reflection of how many chances they had rather than uh, you know, were they any good or not. You know, they had a lot of pressure, they had a couple of drop-offs. Um, difficult night for them. Um, oh, I just that's how Hawthorne play. Um, they, were, they, were, they were at us, and uh, you know, there's a bit of niggle going on, and they're up on the scoreboard. It was an important game for them. You know, Clarko said it was a danger game for them, um, so they were certainly up for the battle, and it's just just the way AFL footy is. Well, man, isn't yeah. um, oh, I'm not too phased about Ruckman. You know, yeah, you love a Dean Cox. He gets 25 every week. Yeah, every team probably would, but there's only one of them out there, so. Um, I'm more, more concerned about how he competes at stoppages for us and uh, um, getting our hit-outs to advantage and all that kind of stuff, up, which I think over the last month he's been, he's been terrific on it. We can work around the ground to get some more ball, but um, I'm not after Ruckman to, to get a bag full of positions. But that's going to be critical for you to play too. You, couldn't, you can't afford to carry one who doesn't give you something on the no, we think Red Oak can find the ball around. You know, he had nine touches and played, you know, what he played two and a half quarters. So he can definitely find the ball. Um, you know, probably against Hawthorne, you know, with a bit too top heavy going through that third quarter. So we brought on Hitchy with a bit of run. So we'll, we'll keep looking at it and uh, that'll evolve as it goes along. And did you feel you had to stand up when Hawthorne started shutting you around? Yeah, I suppose you got to stand up when any team has a crack at you and stick together. And that's what um, that's what we want to do as a, as a team, yeah. Yeah, they certainly came at us um, a, a fair bit, and I thought the boys stood strong together. Yeah, can't ask for much more. How much tougher was it in the midfield this week compared to the previous three? Yeah, they. I think they also with that bug, which makes more of a life and spread around the game. Yeah, I thought, uh, as uh, someone else said, Maury was terrific. He came through the mid midfield and um, he would develop for us to be a, a really good inside player. But um, Sewell and, and Mitchell were just a class above in the end and uh, we'll look at the tapes and we'll learn some really good lessons from them. Matthew, uh, promised, uh, if you uh, if this game falls on to the level where you aspire to get to, can you put a timeline on that or is it just a matter of... Oh, we'd love it to be as quickly as we can, but um, you know we just got to keep this group um, together and playing as much footy as they can. Um, you know we get a, a, we'll have a, a maybe a couple of uh, fresh guys to bring in over the next month or so, and uh, but we'll keep developing and keep exposing them and, and keep demanding that they play at a pretty high level. And you know we've all seen what level they've been able to play at. Um, we've got to make sure and demand that they play that level for the next rest of the year, not only next week, but uh, the rest of the year. So uh, time frame, who knows? But uh, we want to get there as quick as we can, and uh, you know we're thinking we're making steps towards that. You got the squad together. Oh, the, yeah, I think it's building towards that, you know. Hawthorne have taken four or five years to get to the Premiership team they did, and then, um, you know, they've been able to remain at a pretty good level since then, so it's taken them a long time, and then they've remained at that a pretty high level. So, um, yeah, we're building towards it, and we're trying to get there as quick as we can.